Wouldn't it be so cool if we could teleport? It would sure save us a lot of time and money. We wouldn't have to pay for gas or spend hours driving to and from locations. In today's video, we'll be looking at real cases of teleportation. These cases though are pretty scary and happen by complete accident. Hey everyone, what's up and welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10. I'm your host, Lindsay Ivan, and today we're looking at the top 10 real cases of teleportation that baffled scientists. Is teleportation real? I don't know. I honestly don't know. This list makes me think that maybe it is. Let's just get on with the video. Starting off this countdown, we have Gil Perez. Gil Perez was a Spanish soldier and palace guard in the 16th century in Manila. However, on October 24th, 1593, his life changed forever. So on that day, he was just doing his job guarding the governor's palace. But it was really hot out and he was sleep deprived, so he decided to take a short nap. He leaned against the palace wall and closed his eyes. But when he opened his eyes, he had teleported to a completely new place. He had somehow wound up in Mexico City. Now he stuck out like a sore thumb because he was in a different uniform, so he was brought in for questioning. He told authorities what happened to him, but obviously they didn't believe him. In fact, they thought that he was friends with the devil, so he was locked away. Finally, he was released when a merchant ship from Manila arrived. They recognized Gil and were like, yeah, he was in Manila that day, we saw him. It's impossible for him to be here. So they were like, okay Gil, I guess you were telling the truth and then they released him from jail and sent him back to the Philippines. I don't even know what to think, but that is absolutely insane. In our ninth spot, we have the missing cell phone. And if you're liking this video so far, then smash that like button because it really helps us out. So not only can people randomly teleport, but apparently inanimate objects can too. This happened in 2003 to a power station worker on his way to his job in Gordons Bay, South Africa. He was driving there with his colleague in the car in front of him. On the way there, the worker was on his phone. When he was done with his call, he put his phone on the seat next to him. A couple of seconds later, he was overcome with this weird sensation. When he turned and looked at the passenger seat, his phone had disappeared. When him and his friend arrived at the work, they both searched for the guy's phone. They were calling it, but it was nowhere to be found until they heard its faint ringtone but it wasn't coming from the guy's car. No, it was coming from a stranger's locked car. So somehow this guy's phone teleported from the seat of his own car to the seat of a complete stranger's car. If teleportation isn't real, then someone please tell me how that is even possible. In our eighth spot, we have Dr. Geraldo Vidal. In May of 1968, a man named Dr. Geraldo Vidal left his home with his wife to head out to a family get together. This was happening at a place about 120 kilometers away from them. So they set out, but they never made it to their destination. A couple that headed out around the same time from the same destination made it, but the Vidals didn't. So obviously the family began to worry thinking the worst, like they got into a car accident or something. Two days later, they get a call from the couple. They had somehow ended up in Mexico City. According to the couple, they were driving along when they encountered a dense fog, after which they passed out and woke up 48 hours later in Mexico City. How does that even happen and how come people are constantly being teleported to Mexico City? I don't even know and I don't even I don't even want to know, honestly. In our seventh spot, we have the man in white. This next case of teleportation was actually caught on camera. It occurred on May 5th, 2012 in Russia by a driver's dash cam. So the driver was driving along when all of a sudden a man in a white lab coat teleports into the middle of a busy road. A truck sees this and swerves to avoid hitting him. The man seems completely unaware that he almost got hit and continues walking along. People think that this video is proof that Russia has developed some sort of advanced teleportation technology, or it's a glitch in the matrix. Like how else do you explain this? One second the road is clear, the next there's a man in the middle of it walking along. I'm confused, but also scared. Coming in at number six, we have the missing keys. A couple of years ago, an elderly lady named Irma was out at lunch with her two friends. On the way to the restaurant, she realized that she was missing her car keys. Now she checked everywhere, but her keys were nowhere to be found. One of her friends suggested that they go have their lunch and then start looking again for the keys afterwards. So that's what they did. After lunch, they were leaving the restaurants when the waitress called out to them. She's like, oh, one of you left your keys. And there they were. Irma's keys were on the restaurant's table, clear as day. So either her friends were playing a joke on her, 
or teleportation is real. We are now at our fifth and halfway mark with the runners. So according to this next individual, one day she was out running with her friend. They were on a popular trail in their hometown. As they started to run, her friend's shoelace came undone. So she bent down to tie them and said that she would catch up with her later. So the woman went on running without her friend. She ran over a bridge and deeper into the forest when all of a sudden the ground beneath her feet disappeared and she was now over a cliff falling to the ground. Now just before her body made impact with the ground, she got teleported right behind her friend. Ultimately, this scared the crap out of her friend. Like one second, she sees her friend run off ahead of her and the next second, she's right behind her. Both friends said that this occurred within a matter of seconds and have absolutely no explanation for what happened. Moving on at number four, we have the pool. Back in February of 2000, a man was swimming around in a Miami hotel pool when he was teleported eight miles away. So on that day, he decided to dive into the pool. When he surfaced, he found himself in a hot tub in a random person's backyard. The family called the police on him because they're like, there's some rando in our hot tub. According to the family, they were out lounging on their lawn chairs when a man suddenly appeared, dazed and confused, in their hot tub. They said, and I quote, I can't figure out where he could have come from. One moment the hot tub was empty, the next moment there was a man in it. How do you explain this? Like it just defies the laws of everything. Coming in at number three, we have Simone Laville. In 1926, a French woman named Simone Laville disappeared while trying to swim the English Channel. So while swimming, she had a rescue boat filled with 18 men following her. All men witnessed Simone suddenly disappear into thin air. Thinking maybe she got dragged underwater, they searched the channel for three hours, but there were no signs of Simone. Then all of a sudden, they got news that she was found in a farmer's pond 17 miles south of London. <sighs> How does that happen? Like seriously, one minute she's in the English Channel and the next she's teleported to a random pond? Our world is glitching, folks. It's glitching. Coming in at number two, we have the woman and the little kid. Here's another video of what seems to be a real case of teleportation caught on camera. So the video features a mysterious individual in a long gown or cloak. They are walking away from the camera. Then out of nowhere, they raise their hand and a freaking little kid teleports directly beside them. Like, is this real life right now? What is going on? Where did that kid come from? And who is this mysterious person? And in our number one spot today, we have Carlos Mirabelli. Carlos Mirabelli was a physical medium and spiritualist from Sao Paulo, Brazil. He was always known for having magical powers. Apparently, he could levitate and could move objects with his mind. But the most shocking power that he had was the ability to spontaneously teleport. One example dates back to 1926. One day, he was at a train station with some friends when he randomly disappeared into thin air. His friends saw him walk towards the platform and then he just vanished. This happened in the middle of the day in front of dozens of people. People were like, okay, what the hell is going on? But that's not all. He teleported to the train's destination before the train even got there. It was 56 miles away and it took him a minute to get there. Someone try and explain that, please. All right guys, that's all for today's video. Let me know in the comments below. If you could teleport, would you want to? Let me know. And speaking of comments, let's move on to our comment shout out portion. I'll be shouting out comments from the video. Top 10 real stories from the ER that made doctors quit their jobs. Troll commented, nearly headless? How can you be nearly headless? Hermione, nice, love that. Love Harry Potter. Moon, hashtag IMAX, she commented, me studying to be a doctor. Also me after this video. I'm having second thoughts about being a doctor. Yo, I'm telling you, doctors, they see messed up crap, but it pays well. So trauma or money, you decide. Seriously though. Uh, Mandias Lemius commented, I freaking love this chick. You rock, Lindsay Ivan. Thank you, you rock my person. I was gonna say my dude, but you rock, okay? Love you. thanks. All right guys, that's all the comments I'm shouting out for today's video. Make sure to comment something down below for a chance to be featured in my next comment shout out. And as always, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to Most Amazing Top 10 for more amazing videos. I've been your host, Lindsay Ivan, and I'll see you when I see you.